Hey everyone, how's it going? Solomon Christ here with another tutorial training. This one is on Comfy UI. That's right, we're gonna be using Comfy UI and N8N together. And in this training here, you're gonna learn how to integrate both and work together with them. It is an incredible training and it is a lot of fun. And the stuff that you're gonna be able to create is just amazing. So let's dive right in. Okay, so here we go now. And as we're gonna be installing and uh, setting up Comfy UI, the first thing that we need to understand is that uh, we're going to be setting up Comfy UI for our local system. So from our main system where Comfy UI is going to be installed, we're going to be actually having Comfy UI access our N8N system via an online tunnel. All right. So that's going to be the first area for the online system and through the offline system via our Docker. And so these two systems have a different way of setup. But ultimately, we want to get to our N8N so that our Comfy UI can be accessed. So over here in the first part, we're going to be using a tunnel system. All right. And that's going to basically take our local IP address here. All right. So we've got an IP address here that Comfy UI gives us. And it's uh, most likely going to be um, 127.0.0.1. And the port number is going to be 8000. Uh, as you see later on, uh, I'll go into the settings and I'll show you what the port number is. And you could change it as well. But, uh, you know, in this tutorial, it's going to be 8000. And so what's going to happen is we need to be able to access that outside of our network with a tunnel system so that we can actually get into one of two specific areas. The first one is going to be N8N Cloud. And the second one is N8N VPS. Both of them are going to be using the same URL that comes out of the tunnel system. Now on this last part here, when we're doing it locally, we're going to be using Docker. Now Docker has a computer within our main system, basically. That's what it's like. So we can't just access, you know, 127.0.0.1, which is considered local host because we're in another computer type of system known as a Docker container. It's within the actual main system. So we need to have something else that is going to be allowing us to access the Comfy UI system through the Docker. All right, so these are the three main systems. And so now let's quickly go over what these two, you know, tunnel system and Docker system are. So specifically for the tunnel system, we're going to be using a service called Cloudflare. And quite literally, what's going to happen is this service will take our local IP. It'll create a temporary um, website for us to actually connect to. And then we're going to put that URL information into our N8N cloud and our N8N VPS inside of the node when we look at credentials. So to access our Docker, we're going to be using something called host.docker.internal. Uh, and the port number is 8000 over here. So basically, this will allow us to connect to our local systems comfy UI because we're actually within a Docker system. So this will allow us to run those commands and connect right to our comfy UI system on our local machine. So this is the entire comfy UI setup and the kind of visual for it. So we're going to be able to access our comfy UI from N8N cloud, from N8N VPS, in this case, DigitalOcean, as well as our local system here with our uh, N8N through the Docker system. So now you know what we're doing. Let's go ahead and dive right in. So let's go ahead and let's go to the Comfy UI website here. That's comfy.org. And in the top right, let's go ahead and click on download. And you're going to see here, you've got a download for Windows and a download for Mac, as well as installing from GitHub. We're going to actually click on download for Windows because that's what I have here. So let's go ahead and do that. And once it's done, let's go ahead and open that up. As you can see, it's doing the entire install right now. And we should see this window come up here. So let's click on get started. All right. And so um, I actually have the NVIDIA chip here. Uh, if you don't, you would click on manual configuration and you'd be able to kind of, you know, choose things. But in this case here, keeping it simple, NVIDIA chip is what I've got. And we're going to hit next. And it's already showing me where it's going to install the Comfy UI on, you know, my system here. I'm going to hit next there. Now, if you had a previous installation of Comfy UI, you can actually migrate it to the new one. In this case here, I don't. So I'm just going to hit next. And then over here, this is just um, updates and uh, usage metrics. Uh, up to you if you want to, you know, send the metrics. I'll just leave everything as is and let's click on install. So the first thing that it's doing is installing a Python environment. Now, if you've been doing a lot of AI work, chances are you've already got a Python environment installed, but it's going to be setting up one that is, you know, very compatible with it. And so I'm going to just let it go ahead and do that. But that's up to you. If you want to shift that, uh, you could do that in the custom side. But what it's doing is it's actually setting up a full Python environment here. 
This will take some time to install, so we'll come back when it's done. All right, so we're back here, and after the installation is done, you should see a screen exactly like this. This is Comfy UI, and uh, you know they've got a lot of different um, you know examples here that we can actually start with. Um, I'm just going to start with a simple image generation there, just so that you can actually see that. And as you can see, it's saying we're missing models. And uh, this is where you should be right now. Once you're at this point here, you can install various models. And there's a lot of models to choose from. We'll get into that in just a bit. Right now, our goal is to set up Comfy UI in different locations. Uh, for right now, though, I'm going to download this temporary model just so that you could see that this installation is working. So once the download happens for the temporary model that I'm going to be using, and I should be able to run this right now with the temporary model here just as is. So this ran on my system. It's up and running. That was generated by AI right on my system. So here we are right now in a new workflow, and this is on an N8N VPS. All right, so this is on DigitalOcean server here. Uh, I'm just going to call this my Comfy UI um, training so that he could see that there. So now uh, if I click on the plus button here and I type in Comfy UI, as you could see, nothing exists, but there are some community nodes that do exist for Comfy UI. So if I go to npmjs.com, I can actually find a list of N8N nodes. And if I type in here N8N and Comfy UI, you're going to see here at the very top, there are several different um, nodes here, community nodes here. So these two here are the ones that we're going to be using here. So let's go ahead and copy that first one there. And let's go into our N8N installation here. And at the bottom left of our installation, you're going to see the three dots. Go ahead, click on that. Let's click on settings. And over here on the left side, you're going to see community nodes. Go ahead, click on that. And at the top right, let's go ahead and click on install. And let's go ahead and let's just type that in. N8N-nodes-comfyui. Click on the little checkbox there and click on install. And let's repeat the process again for the other one. So here we are again. I'm going to copy this entire string here. I'm going to go back to my N8N, click on install. Let's paste that in, hit uh, the checkbox and hit install. All right, so let's go back to our workflow there. And now when I actually hit the plus button here and I type in Comfy, you're going to see now I've got a whole bunch of different options here for Comfy UI. All right. So um, these are really, really helpful. So we're going to start off with the first one, which is Comfy UI. But first, let's actually put in a chat box here. So I'm going to start off by adding in a chat trigger here, just like that. There we go. And now I'm going to get the Comfy UI there, uh, the first one there, Comfy UI. So I'm going to click on Add to Workflow. And so now we have to actually set up our credential. Now, if I click on the Create New Credential here, it's going to give us a URL. However, that is on a local system. This is a VPS system or a cloud system. So it's the same thing uh, in the cloud as well. So what's going to happen is we need another service that's going to allow us to take our local machine and route it up to our N8N inside of the cloud or in our VPS. So the company that actually has a tool like that is Cloudflare. If you'd like to learn more about how Cloudflare Tunnel works, you can actually click on the Cloudflare Tunnel link here uh, and they'll tell you more about Cloudflare, which is the you know app that we're going to be using. But specifically, I want you to click on the Downloads button here for Cloudflare Docs. And then if you go down here, you're going to see the Windows Edition here, 64-bit. All right, and you're going to see this executable here called Cloudflare-Windows-AMD64.exe. That is what we're downloading. So if you click on that, it's going to download that right into your computer. Once that's done, keep it somewhere on your system. Usually, I keep it on the C drive uh, in a temporary folder, just like this here, as you can see. And all you have to do now at this point here is literally run this thing. All right, so I'm going to show you how this works here. So I'm going to right click here, click on open in terminal. So now I can actually, you know, start up Cloudflare here. Okay, as you could see, just like that. However, I need to add in more information here. Specifically, what is the IP address that we want to actually put out into the world? In our Comfy UI, we would actually go inside of here. And we would actually go to the bottom left here in settings. And then you're going to see here where it says server config. This tells you where Comfy UI is. And the IP address here is 127.0.0.1, which equals localhost. And the port number that they have here is 8000. All right. So keep that in mind. So now we've got our port number and our information. So let's go into command line now that we know our IP address and our port number. And let's type in Cloudflare dash windows dash AMD 64. Then we're going to put a space. We're going to put the word tunnel. 
all right? Then we're going to put a space. Then we're going to type in dash dash URL. And in this case, we know it's localhost because localhost is usually 127.0.0.1. So let's just type in localhost. And we know that our actual port number is 8000. So let's go ahead and type that in and hit enter. And there we go. We get a URL here that we can now place inside of our N8N system. So let's go ahead and copy this here just by clicking and highlighting it just like that. Hit control C on your keyboard. So go ahead and paste that there and make sure that there's no spaces in that URL that uh, Cloudflare just gave you. And you don't need an API key. So just hit save. And as you can see, the connection was successful. So now I'm actually connected to my physical system here through a Cloudflare tunnel. So the next step is once I've now got that connection coming in and I could connect to my Comfy UI, I actually need the Comfy UI JSON workflow. So just like N8N has workflows that are in JSON, same thing with Comfy UI. So let's go ahead back into Comfy UI. The first thing we want to do is save the workflow in Comfy UI. We do that by clicking on workflow and save or by hitting control S on the keyboard. Next, we need to export this workflow using the export API command here in workflow export API. Make sure it is the export API version, not the export. I'm just gonna call this Comfy UI one, hit save. Next, you're gonna open this Comfy UI one or whatever you saved it as, the JSON file, inside of a notepad or a text editor of some kind. I'm in notepad plus plus. I'm gonna copy this entire JSON here and this is what we're going to paste into our N8N. So inside of here, what we're going to do here is where it says workflow JSON, let's go ahead and change it from fixed to expression and then click on this little square icon here. And now let's go ahead and paste our entire JSON inside of there. And then let's exit here, hit save. And let's just run a test here. So I'm just going to type in test and hit the chat button. So right now it's running but our chat and our comfy UI are not connected as yet. And there we go, it's now completed. That took about three minutes to do. Let's take a look at the result. So let's go ahead and double click there and click on view. And as you can see, it's created this here. Now at this point here, I can now edit this JSON here. And this here is a comfy UI JSON. And so the really nice thing is that I could now create any you know comfy UI workflow that I want, paste it inside of here, and then I could actually take my N8N chat inputs or any input that I want and now manipulate the JSON data to actually get whatever I want as an output. So as you can see here, if we go through the JSON here, you're going to see the input here uh, is over here. It says beautiful scenery, nature, glass bottle, landscape, purple galaxy, you know, inside of the bottle. So if I just highlight this text here, if I delete that, and now if I click and drag my chat input right to where the text portion is, now whatever I type in, should be the result. So let's go ahead and let's try this again. I'm going to type in sports car. So let's try that out. All right. So there we have it. Let's take a look. There you go. All right. So now it's actually uh, creating anything that I want and I don't have to worry about credits. I've got unlimited usage of this now. All right. So now that we have that running, the next thing that we want to probably do is of course, inside of comfy UI, get a different set of models that we can use right now. It's using this one here, we probably want to use a different model, especially as we're hearing all these new models coming out that could do all kinds of incredible stuff. So when it comes to models for Comfy UI, there's uh, two major areas that we're going to find the actual models. Hugging Face is the number one place. This is where every AI model exists for all kinds of different AI things. But then there's something called Civet AI, and that is actually for a lot of the comfy UI stuff and a lot of user-generated content models. Uh, custom model here, as you can see here, this is the base model that uh, you know we just installed, but um, you're probably gonna wanna install some additional stuff. So going to your manager over here, you can actually see your model uh, manager here, and you can install custom models. There's a lot of them that are available uh, you know, for you to install. It'll download it and it'll actually set it up on your system. So take a look, see what you like, but uh, you could get you know started right away with different, different types of models. There are so many available, so definitely check that out, but that's how you would update models within uh, the Comfy UI. As I said, this is not a Comfy UI tutorial specifically. This is using Comfy UI with N8N, all right? So um, if you wanna go deeper on Comfy UI, I'd recommend checking out uh, you know some of the YouTube videos that are available to do that. So now that we have Comfy UI working with our N8N via VPS, we're going to now make sure that Comfy UI can work on our local system as well. All right, so here we are now on a local system. 
Um, and this is uh, assuming that you've already set up, uh, you know, the AI starter kit uh, from N8N. So if you've not seen that, go check out my other video on setting up uh, various forms of N8N, uh, both on local and VPS and cloud. So this is the local one here. So now I'm going to create a new workflow here. And once again, we still have to install the community nodes. So we're going to start off with a chat node here first. So it's just an empty chat node. We're going to save that. And this is going to be our comfy UI training. All right, so save that. And so now at uh, the top here, we're going to grab these uh, N8N -N items here for our community nodes here. So this is the first one here. And then let's go over to our local host here. And at the bottom left, we're going to click on the three dots, click on settings, click on community nodes, click on install community nodes, paste it in. Click on the checkbox and click install. All right, let's do that again. This time we're going to choose the other one here for image to image and go ahead and let's go ahead and click on install. And then afterwards, let's hit paste and click on I understand, click install. All right, so now we've got these two nodes installed here. So let's go back to our workflow. And now from here, if I hit tab, I should see comfy UI. There it is. Click on that and click on add to workflow there. All right. And let me just connect these guys up here. And now the credentials. All right. So accessing my local comfy UI is straightforward. It's 127.0.0.1 uh, colon 8000. I can do that in a URL. However, in my local N8N, if I put that inside of here, as you can see, I'm going to get an error. And what ends up happening, it's because I'm actually within a Docker. So I actually have to change this from 127.0.0.1, and I have to change this to host.docker.internal. That's the equivalent one because remember, this entire N8N system is within a Docker container. So now that's my local host of the Docker. So if I hit retry, now I can access my N8N, uh, from my N8N, the Comfy UI. So now it's actually working. And so the same idea as before exists. I just take the JSON file of my comfy UI and I paste that into my actual workflow here. So let's go to expression. Let's uh, open up the square, paste that in. And then afterwards, I'm just going to create a quick little chat here. So I'll just do a test. And then I'm going to stop this here. There we go. And then I'm going to take this and I am going to now take the chat input and let's delete this text here just like that and I'm gonna take this here just like that paste that in there we go and then I go back to my main window here hit save and now I could just redo this here create a motorcycle and there we go take a look at what we've got here uh, it created a motorcycle all right so now we're up and running as well locally. Now, for those of you who don't have a powerful system, you can use things like DigitalOcean for GPUs. Uh, SimplePod is another big one, as is RunPod. Both of them also provide uh, GPU systems, which you can then access uh, Comfy UI on as well. Uh, so it may be a great option. You know, uh, some of the pricing, as you can see, it, it is costly depending on the system that you're doing. You got per hour, per second. So you can kind of see that, you know, what the rates are. In some cases, uh, you know, it may actually be better to just buy a computer. Um, you'll probably save that money, but uh, up to you on how you want to do it. And, you know, just knowing that these services exist uh, could be helpful, especially if you're trying to set something up where, you know, you don't need to buy the entire computer and you just need it for certain amounts of time. Uh, on SimplePod, uh, this thing is from five cents an hour for the lower end machines or up to $1.50 an hour. So it's, it's a little bit better on pricing, but still, it can be pricey. So keep that in mind as you are, uh, you know, trying to figure out where to set up Comfy UI to use it. So there you have it. You've got a great little tutorial there on how to set up Comfy UI on N8N. And that could be on N8N Cloud. It could be on N8N via VPS or even on the local hosted N8N as well. Now, of course, there's a lot of tutorials on Comfy UI. Specifically, our goal is to help you to integrate it into N8N because from N8N, now you could do a lot of interesting things with the Comfy UI system. And that includes creating images, creating videos, creating all kinds of incredible workflows for yourself and your clients. So if you haven't already, please join my school community and also make sure you join the N8N community as well. Until next time, I look forward to seeing you in another video. Take care. Bye-bye.